The key to his whereabouts was here in Santiago. It was known that his son had accompanied him from Europe after the war, first to Ecuador, then here to Chile. A local telephone directory produced the first clue. A check through its columns revealed this name, the only Rauf listed in the city. Richter Walter Rauf. Reporter Bill Beanister tells of his encounter in Santiago. Los Pozos, a sleepy street some kilometers from the city center. Walter Ralph's son lived in this house with wife and two children. His neighbors and local tradesmen claimed they'd seen an old man, possibly a German, visiting the house at regular intervals. An ice cream salesman said the old man was a close relation to the master of the household. Two little girls playing nearby provided the second clue. The girl on the left claimed she lived in the Ralph house. Then another child said the little girl's grandfather lived just a few blocks away. There, in a small house with a strong iron fence guarded by a big dog, lived the old German. The woman who answered the door at first denied knowing anybody by the name of Ralph. By this time, a small group of children had gathered outside. Okay. The woman then turned inexplicably hostile to the children. She appeared very angry. She then asked the children which one of them had bought the gringos to cause trouble. Is there? Walter Ralph had been sold out for the price of a packet of sweets. If there was any doubt left, the slam of the door dispelled it. Watch was kept in the vicinity of both houses for some time. Anyone approaching either property was filmed. The surveillance continued for over a week. Finally, in desperation, it was decided to contact the occupants of the son's house. Suddenly, the unexpected happened. Approaching from the north end of Los Pozos was a man himself, SS Oberstum Banfura Walter Ralph, the alleged murderer of a quarter of a million human beings. Undeterred, he walked nonchalantly towards his son's house. There at the gate, he came face to face with an unwelcome visitor carrying a hidden radio microphone. You, you live in Santiago, don't you? Eh? You live here in Santiago. Yes. Yes. Are you stay you're staying here today, are you? Uh, I must uh, own up to the jurist. Oh, the solicitors? Yes. Oh, you are fighting your case? No. Because you have My no problems. My case finished. Completely finished. I am not guilty. I want to say only the verity. Only the old truth. Yeah, not more. Well, why don't you say that in an interview with me? No, but uh, you are not here only for me, or other things too. It sounds you've been blamed for these things when, why don't you just say it's not true? Mm. You know, there was, not uh, true. There's a lot, there was a lot wrong in Germany well, before the war. Well, you know, we, we, I have no uh, 73 years uh, for uh, Mr. Wiesenthal, we are dying and uh, they are uh, failing the clients for him. Yes. What do you think of Mr. Wiesenthal? 
No, less than me. It's like the hunter and the hunted. 